Hello everybody and welcome back to some Outward. It is time to talk about the Sar Stones. This is a very good and unique item that you can get out in the world. You can't really get this from the Lich, the Golden Lich that is, but you can actually use it to craft with the Jade Lich that we're going to be talking about a little later. This is a very rare crafting material that there's only a few ways to get. There are certain locations, mainly in the desert, that you can get them at, such as the Electric Labs, as well as in the Marshland. There's also inside the Jade Palace, where you find the Jade Lich. There's also a sarstone stone in there, but this is a surefire way to farm it every seven days. Now you can't be, the best way I've found to do this is to put up a leaf tent in a certain location. We're gonna come back to that hermit tower in just a second here. But first I wanna show you exactly where this is. So if you look on the map, if you go to Ghost Pass and you have to, you have to go inside of Ghost Pass and work your way through the skeletons or well, ghouls, whatever you wanna call them, you have to go out the other side. So there's gonna be another exit in there that kind of looks like the first one, uh, but it is different. And when you get out of there, you'll come to this section over here in the Northeast. Now this section here, it's not really marked well, but the Cabal of the Wind Tower, you'll be able to find that on the map here. And basically what this is, is this is the extra region with the graveyard. Now this graveyard we're coming up on, it's all of the, uh, you know, the mobs that you can probably expect to come out of this, like a horror. You've got, uh, I've seen one ghoul in here, but it's the one that we actually need to fight. But we've seen some horror mobs as well. Those mainly. As you can see, the green armor that I'm wearing right now, greenish armor, and my shield is actually made of SAR. This is SAR armor, and this is probably the best, um, or some of the best armor in the game. Um, I'd say the armor itself is the top tier. The shield, I'm not 100% sure on, but the shield is amazingly good. Stats on the shield as follows as 22 impact resistance. The armor itself is based off of fire mainly. So 28 resistance on that, 40 fire damage or resistance, four protection, three protection on the boots, 20 slash resistance or just 20 uh, resistance entirely to damage and then 20 fire as well. Looks like somebody wants to play. You don't have to worry about these guys too much. What you need to do is when you find this location, you have to go over here if you're wanting to actually um, engage in finding this uh, SAR stone. You need to have mulberry wine as well. That's a very important tool to have. I'm sorry, gaberry wine. You need the gaberry wine because you're gonna need to coat it, your weapon in it when you reach this tombstone. Now the guy right there, of course, as you might guess, that is the guy we need to take out right there. So let me go ahead and make this quick. Spiritual Varnish. When we go in there to attack him, he is going to drop the soul, the Sar Stone. We just need to take him out really quick here. If he'll decide to attack me. Never mind then. Okay, so once we <laughs> once we grab it, this is a Sar Stone. Now most of the weapons that you can make in the Jade Temple, they actually cost only about one Sar Stone but the two-handed ones, they would cost two. All of them also cost the Hackmanite, so that's the purple um, gem that you can get from ma mining mana shards. Uh, it costs that, as well as the Palladium scraps as well. So make sure to have both of those materials as well, and I'm getting cold, so I gotta get out of here really quick. But first, what you wanna do when you do get here is you wanna read the tombstone here. Now it says, pour a drink from your partner. You pay your respects. So originally that wouldn't work. What it's going to ask you to do, it's going to ask you a couple of questions, whether you want to pour wine on the tombstone itself, uh, things like that. Pour it on your weapon and then he'll spawn. And then you can take the guy out and get the star stone. Now this is actually a farmable method as well. Every seven days you can farm this method to get a free star stone. And if you actually have a tent nearby, you can just wait it out really quick and it, everything's going to be okay past that point. Now, personally for me, I haven't been able to really camp out while I'm near it. If I camp out like while I'm outside of a zone, if I'm inside this zone specifically and start camping, it doesn't seem to work as well. Uh, for me, it takes about nine or so days, nine, 10 days, but sometimes I don't even ever see it change really. Uh, I don't know if it's a case where you have to be out of the zone and you have to come back to it or what, but the easiest method that I found is to just go to the Hermit's Tower, which is right over here. This is also where you can get Shaman skills. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I definitely recommend coming over here. But I go here and I put down a plant tent so that the plant tents are basically, they're mainly used for the desert, which because they can uh, restore your food and drink, but they're also really good in this area too. 
I'll go ahead and show you here. And when you place these down, they are permanent, so you cannot pick them back up. However, you don't have to worry about it if they're in important spots. For instance, I do have some in cities as well when I'm trying to restore my health and stamina, things like that. Um, the one that I had in here looks like it has disappeared, but I did have one in here, like right here. So as a result, what I can do instead is put this one down. And then I can just go ahead and sleep inside of this luxury tent here, for instance. And then let's say I did bring a plant tent here. I could just kind of go ahead and use it repeatedly. Now I use most of the time what I do when I, when I was here, I would just have this plant tent down inside of here and I could just sleep for seven days, go out there and then come back and do it again. I think it might be a case where you cannot be in the zone because clearly the one that I had here is despawned, but I was able to do this and come back and sleep in it again. But once you sleep the seven days and you go back outside into there, you can use that mulberry wine again. Uh, well, you don't actually have to at this point, the gutberry wine. Um, you don't have to worry about that because once you do it the first time, you're completely set. You don't have to worry about doing it ever again. At that point, the ghoul will just appear like he did for me. And that's all there is to it. And anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful night or day. Enjoy as well. I'm going to be making another video on how to farm the Jade Lich's weapons. Um, if you're interested in buying those, I can show you what a little bit of it looks like. They're really, uh, most of the stats are probably similar um, in terms of the element that it's based off of, but it's probably just, of course, something does higher damage than the other. That's probably about it. Thanks so much for joining and have a good one, folks. Later. Hey, Hermit, what's going Excellent. on?